welcome to Oz Scale Modeling, and welcome to part three of our Japanese landing craft, a hovercraft in 172 scale by Trumpeter. Now, in the last episode, we finished getting the deck painted, which I'll just turn over now. There's our deck painted up. And what you'll notice there is I've got two wires sticking out and they are for the lights I'm going to put in the cockpit area. So what I've done is I've turned it back over and we've gone back to actually step one now where I need to, I can glue this down onto the, uh, the underside of the, uh, I guess it'd be the deck. Now we've got our little on off switch for our battery power sitting in here and that's running down through so that's all fine there's a couple of little pins there's one two three four on the other side to line this up but at the moment i'm about to glue it all down i'll just use my Ravel contactor glue and then i'll probably put uh, a book or something there to put a bit of weight and then leave it oh, for quite a few hours because these are quite solid pieces there's a bit of weight in them, so I certainly want them to glue quite uh, firmly, that's for sure. But it's a nice fit, so that's not a problem, and there's no movement in that, that's fine. I've got enough wire going through, so I'm not going to have a problem with that. So, yeah, that's it. I will glue this down, and then, of course, I'll be able to turn it up the other way, and we'll put on the... Uh, these two ramps on each end and then also fit our little pieces here that we painted up and fitted our photo etch grills to. All right, so like I said, if you're first time viewing this, uh, we are on part three. It's definitely worth going back in the beginning of this playlist and watching this right from the unboxing um, to get an idea of what we're building and uh, watch through the series, particularly if you want to build this. Um, hopefully uh, I'll be able to share a few tips and and uh, sort out any issues and let you know before you tackle it. But uh, so far it's going well. All right, so I'm going to get this all glued up now and we'll come back and we'll go start fitting those other pieces. Okay, back shortly. Okay, g'day everybody, welcome back. So I've got it all glued, left it overnight and uh, and all most of the next day and uh, it's all glued down solid. I also put another layer of the Tamiya cement all the way around to give it just to make that extra strong bond. Now, what I forgot about was there's two more patches here that needed to be painted, I forgot. So these two parts here on the instructions uh, 32 is the color, so that is uh, a dark gray. So I take them up. It was a bit tricky because you can't really tell. There's no detail on this at all, so it's hard to figure the size and where it's supposed to go. But this point here has a top-down view, and you can actually see with the pieces on where it's going to fit. So I figured it out, and uh, I've masked it up with the Tamiya tape, what I'll do now is I'll use my thicker frog tape just to block off all this area here to protect it from overspray. And I'll give that a shot of our XF24 dark grey. The wires are through, so that's all ready to go for the light up in the uh, cockpit. I guess it's called a cockpit, the bridge. I don't know what it is on a hovercraft. Someone want to let me know in the comments. I don't even know what the pilot, if that's what he's called, is named. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I'll give this a uh, bit of an airbrush and a couple of coats and uh, take that off. And then, as I said, we'll come back and we'll put on the little pieces, which uh, are all painted up here. So we've got some railings to go on, a couple of bits of the sides going on here. And these parts here go on the front bow, <laughs> and uh, we'll get those put on. 
and probably the uh, finally get the ramps on as well, which have been sitting there for quite a while, all ready to go. Uh, but also, before after the ramps go on, the next step is actually putting on the the air cushion underneath. So we'll see about that. We're just gonna I'll check through the instructions and find out how much I can actually uh, do without putting that piece on the bottom. We'll see how we go. All right, back shortly. Okay, welcome back. So I just painted these. Uh, it's not dry yet. Literally did it five minutes ago. Come up real good, but we almost had a bit of a disaster. So what happened was while I was spraying with the airbrush, I probably had, I had well, I did. I had too much paint in the cup and a bit dripped out and fell right there. Fortunately, and very fortunately, that will be underneath a piece of the superstructure and will be completely covered. So you won't see it at all. If it had landed just a little bit more here, then that would have been a bit more of a problem because I think that part is open. You can see through there. But uh, yeah, I, I got lucky and it landed on there. So thank God for that. That saved me quite a bit of tidy up. All right, so um, I'll leave these for just another half hour and then I'll take the tape off. And that'll be done. And then we'll, uh, we'll start putting some pieces on. Okay, back shortly. Okay, welcome back, guys. It's uh, the next day, the next morning. And I've got the two ramps glued on in position there. It's looking good. Now, I thought I'd just show you I haven't really shown this properly, but this is our, I guess you'd call it the hovercraft cushion. And you can see that it's all completely made of rubber, which is good. And um, yeah, it, it needs a bit of a clean. It's got a bit of dust on it, but it's quite easy just to give that a, a damp cloth and wipe that. It does seem to fit okay. I have done a bit of a test fit on here. Pretty much going to put it under here. Just put that on there like that. And that's going to sit there. Line that up. So that all seems fine. What I'm going to have to do is glue this down. This cross section down and then and then all the way around that's how it's going to be it sits up in there so there are some little notches you'll see in there where those spots are there those little holes are is where there's little bits of rubber that you line up with those pop them in there and sorry get that on the camera you'll just pop the there's one there you see you just pop that in the holes and work our way all the way around the whole craft okay so that's the next move is to get this get it on our whole craft i'm confident it'll go on okay so yeah all right and i'll probably use CA glue mainly because it'll stick quite quickly but yeah it looks like it fits really well so yeah I'll be back with a successfully attached cushion on my hovercraft <laughs> all right back in a minute hey welcome back so I'm in the progress of gluing this down having a little bit of difficulty rubber and plastic don't seem to want to grip too well together. I started using some Tamiya cement and I put that down and what I've done at the moment is this is the only section I'm gluing down. I used that but it didn't adhere to that at all. So I actually ended up using a bit of CA glue. And I ran that um, on, the, on the bottom and put that on and it wouldn't grip either. So I ended up getting using my Ravel contactor and it works. It seems to be working. 
but of course it dries slower. So what I did was I've layered it under here and I've layered it under here and here. Um, those two there are just little weights. They're like, these are brass, or not brass, I guess they're lead, but they're quite heavy. So that's fine. Now, this side's stuck down. It, it, it's a good five, ten minutes of just holding it with a little bit of pressure, and and it's, it'll glue down. I will do all this, and we'll come back at the end, and I'll explain how it all went. Okay, back shortly to you. For me, it could be an hour or so. Okay. Okay, we're back, and I've decided that uh, gluing that air cushion is going to be a all-day job. So rather than me glue a little bit, wait an hour, glue a bit more, wait an hour, may as well build in between. So what we do is once that's glued on, that will be... Um, Step two, done. Now, if we go over the page, we already jumped ahead and we've done step three and four. Those are done. Um, these are ready to go on, which we'll be able to do after that's dried and I can turn it over and put them on. Same with that. So that'll finish in step five. Step six, those have been made. Step seven is more pieces, which again, they're all painted up, except for the really small bits, which I'm going to hand paint. So that's all ready to go. That can all go on as soon as that uh, air cushion is glued in place. Okay, that's a bit better. So it looks like we've got, I'll just use my toothpick pointing device. Uh, we've got three doors to build, or well, to cut off the sprue. And it looks like there's a K5, K is the clear sprue, so there's some glass to go into that. Um, obviously, I won't be doing that because it needs to be painted. So what I've done is I've got a little box put aside where we'll put all these little parts in. So we've got two of these to build. Looks like one of these, one of those, <laughs> and one of those and make two of those, which I'm not sure if it's, I think it's two of these completely. Yeah, I'll find out, not sure. Okay, so if I make all these little pieces, they obviously go in the next step nine, they'll go on top of this little superstructure here that we'd be building up. There's a ladder to be added. There's obviously lots of little extra pieces to go on there. Um, and this looks like the left-hand side, which is opposite the cockpit. So it's the other side of the hovercraft because I recognise it has this little piece here, which has um, a window that goes in there. I think. I think that's what that is. Anyway, so yeah, well, what I'll do is I'll find out um, how much of all these things can be fitted on here that are going to be the same colour as the superstructure. Um, that way it can all get sprayed in one go rather than having to struggle doing all the little individual pieces um, like I'm going to be doing when we turn that over when the cushion is dry. So... Yeah, so what I'll do, is I'll put all these together now, get all these pieces made up, and we'll put them aside, ready. Okay, back in a sec. Hey there, uh, just showing um, something I come across here with the instructions, putting these pieces together. Um, you'll see here, oh, sorry, I'm moving where you can see it would help. <laughs> so here we got uh, make three doors, no problem. Make two of these, no problem. This piece here, uh, even though it doesn't say it, you want to make two. So when they're saying make two, they're referring not just to that, but to that as well. That's a little bit uh, deceiving there. That will be make one. This is 
tour them. The reason I questioned this was that's the rack to hold these. And if I'm making two of them, then surely there's got to be two racks. And when I go down to the instructions here and I look at all where these pieces go, you only use one of them, which is on there. The other second one, which, which includes the rack, is on the other side of the hovercraft when we're building the superstructure over the other side is where it goes because it just appears. I'll show you. We'll go over to where that is. There we go here. So over in step 18, if you go down, look, there it is there, showing it goes there, but there's no reference to the part um, numbers, no reference to step eight that it came from. It just, there it is, that's where it goes. <laughs> so, yeah, if you, once again, if you're doing this kit, yeah, just be aware that there's two of those and you may not use that second piece tool well on into the build where it just uh, is, is needed. And I think that would also go for one of these vents here that they have. It says make two. Because again, only one is used uh, here. I think. No, that's going on to a separate piece where it's saying make two. So that's probably all right. So what I'm saying is that where it says make two, make three, whatever, does not mean that they will be used in the next step. Um, for instance, the three doors. Obviously, the three doors aren't going to be on here. Two of them are. Where's the third door? That's obviously going to be further on. In fact, I'm pretty sure if we go over, uh, I'm fairly sure that that door is what goes on here. But again, as you can see with the way this is showing, it just shows the piece with the door there with no reference to where that came from. I might be wrong. That piece may already have the door on it. But anyway, again, pays to just uh, look ahead. Actually, there we go. I see the door here. So yes, that door does go there. And again, it's showing that the door going on, but it doesn't refer back to step eight where you made that, where you made the door. See? So yeah, occasionally you'll make things earlier on during the build and um, wonder why do I make two or three of those and you'll know why because later on you're going to be needing them. But they should really reference back to the step um, that you made it in at least or at least put the part number on there. But anyway, not a problem. Um, I will continue on. I've just got these barrels which should be dry now, clamped. So they come up quite good. Uh, these are the only ones that I can tell so far that aren't painted the metallic silver. These are actually the dark grey. So that'll give them a bit of contrast and make them stand out a bit. But yeah, they're, they're the only thing I can think of or that I can see on the instructions that are not the same colour as everything else. So they will be painted separately. All right, back shortly. Okay, welcome back. So as you can see, I'm, I'm slowly getting there. I've done across the front. I've done down here. I've just glued that down. Just a little bit of weight on there to make sure it sets properly. Um, I'll give that about half an hour. Then I'll continue on do around here and finish off around here. So we're looking about another hour and a half to two hours. Then I'll be able to turn it over and do the other side, which I haven't started yet. Okay. I'll just set that over to the side because while that's drying, I'm actually working on these pieces here. Now I've cut out all those bits to the top of uh, that uh, superstructure. And then I've taken off this as well. This is the superstructure that most of these pieces are going on. There's this grill area here, which is going to be glued onto there. Now this is actually a different color. Um, the paint guide here, 
doesn't actually tell you. Uh, it'll show you that the two areas on the top, so both sides have that gray color. And from what I can tell, because it doesn't actually, there's no you know, direction telling you what color that is. Although if you go over here and look, we've got A232. A232 is the dark gray. So that's what I thought. So it's the same as what I did on the base here, those dark gray. Well, so is the, the roof of this will be gray. And looking at the actual hovercraft video footage of it, um, it is also gray. So that'll be fine. In fact, I'll put a bit of footage up in the top corner here and you'll see that that's the look I'm trying to recreate and from that video you will also see that there's uh, it shows really nicely all the detail and um, what everything is going to be looking like um, so yeah I will continue on and um, maybe even just get some undercoat on these uh, all of these pieces well some of them can actually be attached. Well, actually, now that I think about it, the pieces that were I was hoping to spray the same colour as this, while they're on here, I won't be able to now because this has to go on there first and then they attach to this, and this is going to be the grey and silver underneath. So that means I will have to paint these all individually. Now the doors, they're fine. I can spray them. They'll be the same silver as this. Those funnels here, well, these are exhaust vents. These are actually exhaust vents. They're intermediate blue. But if you look, going by the footage of the ship, they do seem to be just the grey as well, the dark grey. But we'll have a look and go into that. The actual uh, paint guide for those exhaust that sit on the top is actually showing it's uh, 1233 plus 5672. So they're saying it's a mixture between flat black and intermediate blue. But I don't know how much. It just says it's just showing here uh, to add those two colors. So again, I'll go back to the footage of the actual holocraft itself and uh, see how well I can match it up. But I'm thinking it's probably going to go the dark grey like the rest. The intermediate blue, we'll check. We'll, we'll see about that. I'm not sure. There is another area on the boat which is also that same intermediate blue, and that's also the top of the shroud around the fans on the back. Um, again, I'll refer back to the actual hovercraft footage. All right, I'll continue on back shortly. Okay, welcome back again. So, while more of the air cushion is drying, I've gone through and had a look at this, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've taken off the little the ladder, that'll go on there. I'll glue that in place. We've got a couple of doors. One will go there, got the other one inside. But what also I've got here is there's lots of pieces to go on here there's some piping there's a life boy which will go on there and a couple of other little bits and pieces as well as uh, much more stuff to go on the roof here all of that will be gray uh will be the silver aluminium color of this so i can spray all that after it's on so i'll i'll put it all on first undercoat it with my gray primer and then um, do the coat with the aluminium that it's going to be. With this, um, this has a plastic piece that goes in the center for the window on this door. But what I'm going to do is, like I do with what most of my models, that I'll use my MIG um, glue that clears, dries clear, and I'll fill that and make that a window by doing it that way. Uh, unless the I can easily reach in there and pop the glass in the back. Then I might go that way as well. Won't matter, but either way, it'll be after it's all painted. The other pieces here, like the thrusters, will be undercoated. They're going to be a different color. They're going to be the gray. 
same color as these. These will be the gray. This is going to be silver. That'll have to be painted separately because it sits on top of this, which is not silver. <laughs> uh, that'll be the darker gray as well. So that'll have to be painted uh, individually, along with the this, which is the two halves of the frame where the clear plastic goes inside for the windows. Um, they'll have to be painted uh, separately. They will be the aluminium colour as well. And when they're painted, I'll pop the, uh, the um, clear plastic in there for the windows, and then that can go on. But at the moment, it's taking off all the little bits off the sprue and putting on what I can that can be painted. So, for example, boom. So, uh, all these pieces here that are going on that side, uh, there's a few more bits going on there. All of those are going to be the aluminium colour, except for the Life Boy, which will be the red. It also has a decal that goes around it as well, goes on it as well. And that can be done separately. All right, uh, these pieces on top need to be the aluminium colour, and they'll have to be done separately, because, like I said, they're put on top of that uh, grill, this, this piece, which is not aluminium. I hope that all makes sense. Anyway, I'm the one building, and it makes sense to me. How's that? <laughs> and if it works out in the end, then I got it right. But I'm pretty sure everything's going to be fine. <laughs> All right, uh, back again shortly. Okay, just about to go and do some painting. Uh, I've got all these little bits and pieces already mounted. Uh, I'm going to undercoat everything now. And then uh, some of the pieces I'll be able to, when that's dry, put the base coat aluminium on there. Um, some parts like these here will be the dark grey, along with this dark grey. I think those are dark grey. Um, so I can paint those separate as well. The hovercraft's um, airbag is slowly getting there. <laughs> In fact, I actually haven't done anything since last time. But once I go put some paint on this, I'll come back and I'll glue another section down of that. Uh, the bag underneath the cushion. That's the word I was looking for. Cushion. <laughs> I was going to call it a pillow. No, it's not quite. All right. So I'll get these painted with my nice new airbrush, which was made. Wait, where is the box? There's my airbrush box. So, and uh, once again, thank you, Jason from. Aussie scale modeler for your very generous donation <laughs> and I'm certainly making a lot of use out of it and anybody who's interested in a really interesting YouTube channel all Aussie YouTube channel go check out Aussie scale modeler and I'll put the link down in the description below all right back in a second okay so I've got those pieces drying um, undercoated and I'm just going to move on now because most of the thing with this kit is uh, just moving on to stuff while you're waiting for things to dry <laughs> in this case it's glue on my right and uh, in the other room is uh, the paint so going on to step 10 we'll do the base for the exhaust thrusters I would guess they would be or the exhausts now which these are used for the steering as well because they rotate in the direction they're facing to propel the craft as far as I'm concerned at least uh, to turn it left and right whereas your big fans on the rear on the stern would be uh, just pushing it forward so I'll do I'll take these off which are all on sprue E which is here and which is these two pieces here and I think that one there um, these will all be coloured aluminium as well, so that'll be quite simple. There's a little base piece there, which will be this one, that the actual exhaust will sit down on. It, uh, 
so then when I've got those done, uh, it's just a matter of um, putting that piece on when it's finished painting it. And then moving on to step 11. And 11 is the structure which it goes on top of. And again, I think most of that will all be the aluminium colour as well. Although there are some pieces of photo etch in here. And uh, looks like there's a few pieces to go in the centre there. Oh, that divides the two between the photo etch. So you can probably see in there. Uh, and then we've got some brackets here, which look like um, just sort of structural supports that will all go along the side there, just to add a bit of detail. All right, so again, I will continue back shortly. Okay, welcome back. So let's have a look at where I'm up to. I'll put a quick picture up in the corner, up in one of those corners, showing you where the hovercraft is at the moment. Um, as you can see, the two books on there are weighting it down because I've uh, glued it all the way around. And I'm going to leave that all night as it's now 7 p.m. here. So I'll leave that till the morning um, before I take those books off. But what I have got here to show is we'll have a look at this part here has all been finished. So we've painted all that up. I ended up putting the, the plastic, clear plastic in the windows of there. And uh, that's come up. So this is the sort of a left-hand side of the hovercraft. There is a little piece of, with glass in it that goes there. There's some more things to go on here. And in fact, one of those things, let me just adjust the camera down a little bit. Okay, so this will go in there. That's a, um, a life boy, which I'm about to paint that red now. Um, Decal will go on that as well, actually, but that can be later. So I'll be able to paint that up and put that on there. Also, on the top of here, we have this here, which I've painted up, and that will sit on the top. In fact, Probably take that off there. So that that will go on there like that. And then uh, as for that little hatch there, we've got these pieces painted up. And they will go over the top. But I had to paint them up separately because we've got some clear plastic to go inside that before they're glued together, placed on there. But that's all right. They can do that now. This uh, rack will go on one side of those, I think it's on this side here, and the rack, there it is there, focus, there we go, so the rack is for these barrels, which I'm guessing are sort of like inflatable life rafts, got those painted up, there you go. So that they can go on top of that. Now I've also got the uh, exhaust thrusters painted up here. There's one of them. I've done just some black on the inside. Works that properly. There we go. So there's two of these. There's also a bit of a grill that uh, goes in the center, which I haven't painted, but I will hand paint those. There's two of them. And both of those, oh, while I'm at it, that there's another piece there that will go on the other rectangular spot on the other side of there. Um, so those thrusters will go, move this out of the way, on top of these, which we have put together from step 10. It's two of those. Now, the thing, these were quite tricky to do because... You start with it upside down, you put in this, which is the one piece here, and it goes in at a, at a bit of an angle, so that there's a sort of a, a an edge you can put it against on the inside, 
then the then it's going to line up at the top here at a sort of 45 degree angle and then this section here this white brown uh, sorry, white brown this center piece here just sits down on there on there so provided that lines up and that lines up you know it's in the right spot now on the top is this which is where those uh exhaust pieces i showed you go and the good thing about this is that um, it rotates now you've got to be figure this out for yourself the instructions there's a little cap that sits in the bottom there that you don't actually glue into the bottom there you actually glue just where it goes into this piece so that when you do put this on there and hold the two together providing glue doesn't get anywhere else this as it does rotates freely um, and the reason i say that's tricky is because the instructions don't tell you not to glue anything or they don't tell you where to glue they just show you that that little piece d18 goes on the inside where that sits on top and of course the exhaust sits on top of there doesn't tell you not to glue it if you glue it no problem but you won't be able to turn them around and they're used to help steer the hovercraft so it just makes sense that you can turn it around which is probably why that cap is there in the first place um, so if you're doing this kit and you get to step 10 don't glue all this together just glue the little um, nub in the top of D18 put a little bit of glue on that so that it sits in the hole in the bottom of E9 but doesn't get anywhere on here and it'll let you be able to turn it around okay uh, all these pieces here are all done it's painted up and I'll show you them uh, so I'll just move that back I have to paint them yet yeah. So we've got these pieces here which are all painted up and they're ready to go on as well just a few aerials and there's a like a part of a support beam that I'm not too sure what that is this is some sort of a, a horn or something I'm not sure I'm oh, sorry you can't see there you go there and that's it so I'll call it a night here. The video won't finish here, of course. It'll just be the end for me. I mean, the first morning, first thing in the morning, we'll bring the hovercraft back over here. All that, uh, the cushion will be all completely glued on there, on there. And we can start fitting some of these parts actually on there, including some of the stuff we did way earlier, which is all this railing and, you know, other bits of the... Um, bulkhead and superstructure all right so uh, for me it'll be about eight hours if I get a good night six if I don't <laughs> uh, for you it'll be about three seconds okay back shortly see you in the morning okay hello hello and good morning it's uh, the next day it's the next morning it's early the sun's not up yet but it will be soon, so it's about 6 a.m. But uh, so here we are. Um, all the air cushion on our hovercraft is all dried overnight. I had the books sitting on it, all secure on there now. And now I'm working on all these little pieces here that need to be put on. Um, some of them, on like step five, for example, in this little container, still need to be painted, which I'm just going to hand paint all of those and all i do is just still got my little paint here with my aluminium and i'll just uh put them on little i use these chopsticks they're quite cheap you can pick these up at a um, cheap shop <laughs> uh cheap shop uh, chopsticks and uh and i use a bit of blue tack hold them in place and then uh paint them up um paint won't take long to dry so that'll be fine and then I'll, at the moment I'm working on the on the bow here where I'm going to put all these little pieces in here and then uh, I'll work my way through step five 
Step six was putting pieces together to step seven, right through up until we put the um, first piece of superstructure on, which in fact goes right there. But, uh, so uh, yeah, I'll um, I'll progress through this now, and um, we'll come back and have a look at uh, looks like when it's done. Okay, back in a sec. Hello, welcome back. So here we are with uh, everything on the deck that I had prepared to go on the deck. So we've got some uh, railings. We'll just bring this camera down a little bit, have a closer look. So you can see there, we've got all this set up here. Uh, a bit of railings there, some other little pieces on there. And the same with the other side. It's all done in there. Now, one thing I found an issue with, and I'll just show you beforehand, um, before I show you that, put a little bit of a extra detail. I put a bit of chain that runs out there and connects to the to this ramp. I've done it on each side there. You can just see the chain hanging down inside. Um, just a bit of extra detail there. Now, with these pieces here, if I go and show you on the instructions uh, part where it showed to put them together, okay, on here, so it pretty much, uh, you glue the two pieces together, you stick this bit on the end here, and then you put your mesh in. Well, what you've got to be careful of is you don't just stick that on the end there. <laughs> Because in the next step, if you look really carefully, you'll see that there is a slight gap in between there. See? So it's not actually flush against the side there. There's a gap. It's sticking out a little bit. And when it's sticking out a little bit, this piece in the end is going to be a little bit higher, a little bit higher. And that's where I had the problem. So when it, when I came to putting this on the deck, uh, it wouldn't fit flow. Uh, now, here we go. First of all, we've got to look at the correct end. Let's try that again. This part here is what we're looking at here. So it wouldn't sit flush. There's a couple of little um, positioning points on the deck where you position this and it slides into that and you know that it's in the right spot. But it wouldn't even touch those because it, there was such a gap underneath because this was touching. And, it, and after all the figuring out, I realized it's because I just glued it flush against here like you would normally do. But you don't. Um, you've got to have that sticking out so that it's raised up. Now, obviously, it's already glued, super glued, actually. I'd already done that. So uh, I couldn't take it off without breaking, breaking it. So what I did was instead was the little lip that's on the bottom there, I just trimmed that off. So if you look on this piece here, there's a little bit underneath there. I've just trimmed that off so that it actually lets the whole thing sit lower like it should be and find problem fixed. But just be aware that that piece doesn't sit on there flush uh, against, against here. There's a, there's a slight gap you can see it, but of course you're not going to look because it's not until the next step that you actually see that. And they don't show that anywhere near clearly uh, in the fitting of it together. Or well, anyway, I sorted that problem, so it's all fine. Um, everything else went on well. It's all gone on fine uh, at this end as well. Um, go around, it's all fine here. So now we'll have a quick look at the um, first uh, bit of superstructure that I put together. We'll be back in one sec. I'll just reposition. Okay, so this is all put together. This is step nine and the accumulation of all the bits and pieces that you would have put together, you put together in step eight. Yeah, there it is. 
So we've got what looks like a life raft on a bracket there. It's ready to be pushed off. We've got the little little cockpit area here uh, with the glass in there. You can see that glinting. Uh, that was a little bit of a tight fit, um, particularly when on going through this plastic grill that had to be put on top of the piece. But a little bit of trimming and it clips in. In fact, you can take that out because it just twists and pulls and pops back out. We've got lots of aerials on there and what looks like a sort of a mast area. So it's all done. On the front here, we've got some bit of piping that looks like an uh, like an anchor you would throw out overboard there. I'm not sure what that is. Obviously, there's a life buoy, which will have a decal on it. Um, got that on. And then there's our doors and everything. Uh, it's really come up quite nice. I'm happy with that. Now, this isn't finished, of course, because there's some clear parts. So there's one, two, there's three, four. There's about half a dozen clear lenses that go on here for lights. And as far as I can tell, going by the model's instructions, um, they're all red. But we'll check that with the actual um, hovercraft itself and make sure that that's red. So um, I've got some, um, I have got some clear red to do that with, but I also have green and a few other colours. So we'll see how that, what, whatever I need, it's fine. All right. So that's that done. Moving on now goes on to what I was showing earlier about the exhausts and the bases for the exhausts, um, which I've got here. They're ready, still ready to be painted. What I've also been doing is getting these ready um, because these need the grills put in. And there they are there. Now, on the actual Japanese version of the hovercraft, they're a sort of a darkish red. Whereas on the US version of the hovercraft, they're bright red, almost too bright red, because I figure that's going to be pretty dirty, um, what comes out of here. So what I've done was I used uh, an old premix I used to have, which I used on the um, Russian Variag ship. That was the deck color. And it's sort of a, like a darker, I don't know, red, brown so that's the color i've gone with so they're just drying at the moment but what i'll do is i'll pop them in they're just the grills that sit in the front and um, they should look quite good all right so um let me just check where we're at okay so i've updated the instructions and we've ticked off um number three is done uh step four is done Step five is done. We've got all those bits and pieces on. Uh, step six is fine. Just remember if you're doing this to make sure that that's not fitting flush against there. It needs to be at an angle. This is all done on step seven. Everything's in place. You go over the page. Uh, step eight is that funnel that I've done and uh, uh, the brackets and all the bits and pieces that were put on top of that little bit of superstructure. That's all the superstructure done. That's number step nine done. Step 10 is done, but not painted yet. Um, and then step 11 is building up some more superstructure for those um, exhaust funnels to go on the top of. And that's where I'm at now. So uh, I'm going to get all these pieces, work out where they are on the sprue and uh, get them all cut off and trimmed up and we'll, we'll see how we go from that. Okay, back again shortly. Okay, hello, welcome back again. So, as you can see here, what I've done is I'm putting all the different modules that I'm putting together separate in individual containers marked by each step of the instructions we're at. So, step nine was the main, that first structure that we've already looked at. Step 10 is this, which I've now put the vent on the top of. So um, that's come up really nice. And this will rotate. I can turn that around too. Um, I'll put that down. Uh, then we've got um, 
step 12, which was the mesh grill, sort of a divider centerpiece that goes between these modules. I've made those up. Then I've gone to step 13, which is some, uh, looks like some um, exhaust uh, stacks go on the roof. Um, unfortunately, these, they're not very good fit and they're actually, um, oh, how you put it? there's quite a few gaps in these that need to be um, filled, particularly the seam, the gap in the center there, because I think that's all pretty visible from the top. So I'm going to fix all those ones up. A couple of little other bits there. Going back to step 11 is the other superstructure section. And what I've done here is this, um, obviously that's going to have mesh in there, I think. Not too sure, I think that does. Um, or maybe it doesn't, I'm not sure. Oh yes, there is, there's mesh in there. So there's a piece of mesh that'll sit behind there. There they are there and they're ready. So that's good. Now, there's also two of these uh, pieces which will sit on there and join the two, so two halves together. There's also two other walls inside here that come out this way that look the same but I've actually done them in a slightly darker silver. They're going to go in there. You won't be able to see them too well, but I, but they're going to be um, a bit more weathered because this is part of the engine area inside, uh, you know, to the rear of where the fans are. So it's all going to be pretty dirty in there. The other thing is too, before I seal this up, because on top of this structure here, both sides will go on like that, will be that exhaust fan. So pretty much that's going to go on top, somehow like that. <laughs> and that's okay, that's not glued on, so it's fine. But that's going to go on top of there. So um, once this is all closed, I can't get back into there. And so what I'll have to do is um, do the weathering of this, a bit of a, a panel line wash in there and just dirty up the walls a bit. And uh, same with the walls in, on the inside of here. Just gonna give them a wash as well. And there's gonna be a bit of grease and grime inside there. Um, Cause you'll be able to see through the mesh and possibly through the end here. I'm not too sure. All right, so that's gonna go in there. What I'm working on now is step 14, which is another uh, superstructure piece further down and uh, again it's going to have mesh uh, some couple of pieces of mesh on there and uh, that's going to join together like that I'm not sure what's going inside there yet but we're getting close to the end where the actual fans are so yeah so I'm going to gradually putting all these modules together and this is just one side and then we've got to go through all this again to do the other side of the uh, hovercraft. So as you can see here, see, once all the modules are all made up, that's when they get put on. And uh, the last step is actually putting the other side in. And then there's just a few other bits and pieces that go on top. But, so, um, yeah, it's all coming coming along real well. Okay, so I'm going to end the video here. And uh, in, uh, in part four, we'll get on with building some more of these modules and um, until gradually we've got one side completely done. And then we'll have a look. We might even, in the next video, um, do a clear coat on the actual hull of the ship, of the ship, of the hovercraft, because... That's going to need um, some decals on it. If I get that clear coat on there, that, that part of it's all done. Um, but yeah, all good. So uh, thank you for watching. Please comment below if you've got any comments. You're welcome to put them down there. And um, give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. 
hit the notifications bell so you get notified of videos as they come out. And uh, I'll see you all in part four. Okay, bye for now. Cheers.